Merge sort is one of the most efficient and important sorting algorithms. That is why it is asked so frequently in our DSA interviews. Therefore, in this video, we will understand it in depth along with its most asked interview question. Alright, so let's understand how merge sort algorithm works visually. So I have taken this array over here. So how merge sort works is basically we divide the array into two equal parts and then sort those parts independently. So for example, in this array, I'm going to break this array from over here. So let's see. So I'm going to have one part with eight, three, five, four, and the other part will be seven, six, one, and two. Now, if you're supposed to sort these parts, we have to further divide them into equal parts. Again, we're going to repeat the same process with them. So see, now what's going to happen is we have all of these parts over here and we're reaching to this part over here recursively, which I will explain you when I'll go on to explain the code. So we have all of these independent elements over here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to compare them with each other and try to merge them into a one single array again. So now if we see eight and three, which one is bigger and which one is the smaller? So obviously eight is the bigger one and three is the smaller one. So we're going to put three first and then eight over here. Same with five and four. So five is bigger, four is smaller. So we're going to sort them just like that. Six and seven and one and two. These are already sorted, I guess. So I'm going to write them just like that. Now, since these parts have been sorted independently, now we're supposed to sort this and this part as well. So if you notice the algorithm over here, this function merge takes a left element and a right element. And inside of it, it compares while left has length and while right has length. That is both of them are not empty. Then only we're going to run this loop. And when we go inside of it, so let's say, for example, if we take an example of eight and three. So if we compare both of these, okay, first of all, we compare three and four over here. Which one is bigger? Four is obviously bigger. So three is going to come first. So inside of this array, I'm going to put three, then four over here, right? Now let's compare the other two elements, eight and five. Which one is bigger? Eight is bigger. So five is going to come first. So comma five, comma eight, just like that. Now for these two as well, we're going to see. First of all, we're going to compare six and one over here. So obviously one is smaller. So we're going to put one first over here, right? And now this element is removed from this array. Since if we notice over here, we have, we're taking a sorted array, which is empty. So whenever we add something to it, let's say, for example, this is left array and this is right array. So we compared if left of zero is less than right of zero. No, that's not the case. Right is more than uh, left, right? So we're going to go inside of over here. And what's happening is we're doing right dot shift. So essentially what right dot shift does is it will take the element from the start of the array and then remove the element from there. So simply over here, we're removing one and we're putting the one over here. So then only this much of the array will remain. So notice if we put one over here and then we will compare six with two. So again, two is smaller. So we're going to put two over here. Now, only six and seven remains, which are already sorted. So I'm going to put six and seven over here. Let's take another example with between this and this. So if we compare three with one over here, obviously one is a smaller. So I'm going to put one now. And again, we're going to compare three with two. Okay, two. Then we're going to compare three with six. Three is a smaller. So we're going to put three and so on. Four, five, six and seven. And yep, so this is how the merge sort algorithm works. So yep, this is how the merge sort algorithm works. I'm going to show you another visual representation of the same by going to visualgo.net. So over here, if I try to run this, if I click on sort, you're going to notice. What happens is basically it compares the first two elements just like we did it. So it sorted it. Then it's going to move on to the next two elements and it's going to compare five and four. Okay, it has sorted it. Now, these two elements and these two elements are sorted. So we're going to compare these two with these two, right? So notice. So it compared three with four and then five and eight. Now the array up until this point has been sorted. Again, we're going to do the same thing with next four elements. So, okay, we're sorting these. Now both of them are sorted. Then we're comparing all four together. And now both of these are sorted. Then we're comparing these four elements with each other. And yep, just like that, our array has been sorted. 
Now let's go on and see the code for merge sort algorithm. Also, before moving forward, I would like to mention my DSA sheet, which I announced in my last video of search algorithms. And I've received so many messages from you all telling me how many times you have encountered these questions in your DSA interviews. Therefore, I would highly recommend you all to download this DSA sheet from the link in the description down below so that you can avoid hundreds of useless questions on lead code and do only the ones that actually matter so that you can prepare for your DSA interviews efficiently. All right, so let's see the code for merge sort. So I'm gonna create a function over here called merge sort. And obviously it's gonna take an array, which we're supposed to sort over here, right? Now, first of all, we need to handle the edge cases. So let's say I'm gonna write base case over here. So first of all, I'm gonna say if array dot length is less than or equal to one, then obviously we don't need to sort the array, right? So we're gonna return the same array over here else what we're gonna do we're gonna know the mid of the array so how can we know that we can say mass dot floor array dot length divided by two so what this will do is this will give us the middle element so if we're gonna do array dot length for eight we're gonna get four so okay that's not an issue over here but let's say if this was something like nine so if we did 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. So for mass dot floor, it will be 4. Now, after that, this is done. What we're going to do, we're going to divide our array into two pieces, just like we saw in our uh, visual explanation. So first of all, we're going to have a left array. And then we're going to have a right array. Inside of the left array, I'm going to say merge sort. I'm going to call this function again, but I'm going to call it with array dot slice zero comma mid so what this basically will do is it will slice the array from zero to the middle of the array so this will supply the same function it will call the same function recursively with this much of the array same for our right as well i'm gonna write the same line over here but this will start from mid and it will go to the very end of our array that is this part over here now again, it's gonna repeat the same process over and over and over until we have something like this over here with eight and three, the individual elements. So after we've divided them into left and right parts, I'm gonna say return, and I'm gonna call another function called merge with left and right array. Now let's see what this merge function is all about. So I'm gonna get a new function over here called merge, and it will take two things left and right array and as i already explained during the visual explanation what this will do is it will first of all it will have a array which will contain all of our result so it will have sorted array which will be by default empty and after that we're going to have a while loop over here and we're going to keep the condition if left dot length and right dot length that is if left array has the length and the right array has the length so after that what we're going to do we're going to compare if left of zero is less than right of zero as we saw in our visual explanation over here we were comparing the zeroth index of both of the array then we're going to simply do sorted array dot push and then we're going to remove it from our array so left dot shift so shift will basically remove it from the array and supply it to our sorted array over here. Else sorted array dot push right dot shift. Simple. This what this will essentially do is it will sort the left and the right provided array over here. And then in the end, I'm going to return the sorted array with whatever's been left of left and right array because it can be the case that left and right array has been already sorted. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go on and run this. So I'm gonna take merge sort. I'm gonna add a console.log over here and call merge sort with this array over here. And I'm gonna run node merge sort. And yep, you see our array has been successfully sorted just like that. So let's go on and understand the time and space complexity for merge sort. So first of all, for time complexity, we're gonna consider both of these functions individually so for this function over here what's happening we are dividing this array into two parts every time right so this will essentially take o of 
log n time complexity and for this merge function over here it's comparing every single element inside of this array so this will take o of n time complexity so when we combine both of these we're gonna have time complexity of o of n log n and for space complexity if you notice over here we're creating a new array every single time so this will take o of n space complexity as well now let's go on to our dsa book and see the most asked questions on merge sort algorithm so i'm going to scroll down to sorting algorithms and yep over here we're supposed to use merge sort so let's go on and solve this question on lead code so the question says that we've been given an array of intervals where intervals of i contains two things start and an end number so if we go down over here we have this intervals array inside of which each and every individual element is an array of its own so what we have to do over here is we have to merge all overlapping intervals and return an array of non-overlapping intervals that cover all intervals in the input so if you see this example over here we have this 1 comma 3 and we have this 2 comma 6 so what is an overlapping interval so if this was 1 comma 3 this should have been something which is outside of this interval that means this could have been let's say 4 comma 6 but since this is 2 comma 6 what we will do is we will take 1 and then we will take 6 and we will remove these overlapping intervals from here so let's say we have this timeline over here and we have numbers on it like 0 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so if we notice we have 1 comma 3 so this interval goes from here to here and 2 comma 6 goes from here to here so did you notice this is what an overlapping interval is all about so this is the situation that we have to avoid and we have to take the first number and the last number between these overlapping intervals so that is what we're going to do but there can be cases where these numbers are not in the correct order like for example if what if 2 comma 6 was after 8 comma 10 then we would have gotten confused right because this and this is not an overlapping interval but later we would have encountered something like this so to avoid that i would think that we would need to sort this array first so let's see what we're gonna do so we've taken this function merge over here which will take all of the intervals over here as a param so now instead of it what we're gonna do we're gonna take two variables first we're going to be start index and the other one is going to be end index and it's going to be one now as i mentioned that we would need to sort it before moving forward so there are two ways to do it either we can use the inbuilt javascript sort function or we can use merge sort over here so let's go on and first of all use the inbuilt sort function so simply what i'm going to do i'm going to do intervals dot sort and if you remember from our previous video how do we use this function so we take a comma b and then we sort accordingly so we are supposed to sort them with respect to the first number in the in this index right so i'm going to say a of zero minus b of zero now what this will essentially do is it will sort it in the ascending order it's going to be a start index that we took over here now after that what we're going to do we're going to start merging the overlapping intervals so i'm going to take a, a variable over here called merge intervals which will contain our final output so just like that after that we're going to say let merge start merge will start at intervals of zero start index and merge end at interval of zero and index I'm going to call it merge end. So this is actually the initial value that I've taken for our variables, which is this one over here. Now, inside of it, I'm going to run a for loop throughout this array. So I'm going to say for let i equals 1, i less than intervals dot length and i plus plus. Now, for the current interval, I'm going to take a variable called const subsequent interval which is going to be a current interval which is simply intervals of i now i'm going to check i'm going to check for the overlapping intervals so i'm going to say if subsequent interval of start index if the start index is less than or equal to the merge end so if you see over here this subsequent interval will be this in this case and this merge end by default was 3 so what we're checking over is the start index that is 2 
if it's less than or equal to merge index then obviously this will be overlapping right so the overlapping interval is found over here and we're gonna write some code for that otherwise we're gonna do something else so if the overlapping interval is found i'm gonna simply update our merge end to math dot max merge end comma this subsequent interval end index so whatever is max between both of these, I'm going to take that as my merge and variable and I'm going to provide that as a final output. So if you see over here, we have this 1 comma 3 and 2 comma 6. Between these, we took 1 comma 6, which was our final output and so on. We're going to do this with others as well. Now inside of the else, for the non-overlapping intervals, we're going to add the previous interval and reset the pointers. I'm going to do merge intervals dot push. We're going to push our merge start and our merge end inside of it. And after that, we're going to update it to our next indexes. So our next element was this subsequent interval over here. So I'm going to add the start index to the merge start. And similarly, I'm going to update merge end as well to the end index. Just like that. And that's it. That is all we needed to do. After this loop is done below this, I'm going to add the last interval. So merge intervals dot push. And I'm going to add merge start and merge end to it, the remaining last element. And I'm going to simply return this merge intervals, return this over here. And yeah, let's try to run this. It's merged intervals. Okay, let's run this again. Okay, we have some issues over here. What is it? Oh, my bad. This has to be start index, not the end index, because obviously we are sorting them with respect to the first index, right? So that is why this is going to be both of them will be start index. Okay, let's run this again. And there you go. It works successfully. If you try to submit this, amazing. This works flawlessly, but we're not going to use this inbuilt sort function to do this. We just learned the merge sort, right? So we're going to use the merge sort to actually implement this sort over here. So I'm going to simply go back to my VS code and take this merge sort algorithm that we wrote over here. I'm going to copy it. Go back to lead code. I'm going to paste it right over here. Now we're going to have to make some modifications here. First of all, this uh, merge is going to be overlapping with this one so i'm gonna rename it to merge array yeah like that and let's see what else we have to do first of all we're gonna take this and over here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say intervals equals merge sort and i'm gonna provide this with this interval variable over here but this is not a normal sort because this intervals inside of this intervals we don't have just numbers we have arrays and we are supposed to look at the first element of each array if we're supposed to sort them so inside this merge sort what we're going to do over here where we are comparing left of zero is less than right of zero i'm going to simply add the start index for both of these arrays so for each element i'm going to take this first number so i'm going to simply add zero and over here zero as well let's try to run this amazing this has this, is, this worked successfully let's try to submit this awesome our solution was successfully accepted by using merge sort amazing so yep, that's it that is it for this video go and check out my dsa sheet if you haven't downloaded it yet it's the best resource for dsa with javascript with all of these questions on all of these topics you won't regret downloading this ebook trust me because it will save you a lot of time that you will spend on going through useless lead code questions